Welcome back, everyone. State Parker's here. I'm Clint. I'm Melody. And it is raining, as you can see. It's about 6.42 in the afternoon on a Monday. We both have the day off, and uh, she doesn't work till tomorrow at 4.45 in the afternoon. So we're going to go out on a little uh, spontaneous camping trip. We're going to take it to Burton Alice Falls again. Uh, main reason that we're going back here is because we love it, for one, but it's there's a, a chance that the flash flood might be happening right now because we just had a really gnarly rain. Hello, sir. Can you tell me how to get to Perdinalis Falls, please? Are we going the right way? That way? Okay, thank you. Last one. Trail map. That's all we need. Okay, we've we found our campsite. I'm very excited about it too, actually. Not only did we forget to get food and have to go back for it, we also forgot the rain fly for our tent and we're going out camping in hopes that we might endure a rainy night, possibly, so. Wow. But we're making it because we found a line already in a tree that we're gonna use and I have a tarp, so we're gonna make shift. just received word from my parents via text message that their power's out and that it sucks. That does suck. And I'm sorry to hear that. I guess it kind of kind of like we are batteries only. message for Yo-Yo. Hey buddy, I hope your friend is okay and I'm uh, sorry to hear about your other friend who did not make it. Uh, that was a gripping, heart ripping update you sent us and holy. So anyways, stay strong. The guy with the leg, he'll be alright. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. Let's show. This is, this is my wife. Muscle in that leg too. It's weird. Scars and behind here we've got scarring and there's that. That's from being hit by a car on her bicycle. Knocked her bones out of her leg. Doctor told her she would never walk again. Uh, so tell your friend to watch this and let him know that we believe that he will recover 100% and he will be back into whatever he was into, so. Hearts are with you, man. Stay on the trail. Good luck. Stay strong. State Parker's here. Getting ready for our night hike. All right. Falls State Park. Oh, that sure is a nice, uh, Oh yeah, that's my survival bracelet. You know who made that? You know who that's made by? It's made by my wife. She made this for me and here's, I'm not gonna give away the secret of why it's better than the other ones. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not really sure what time it is.
Animal Crossing River Access 5.5 mile loop trip. Ready? Yes, and I want to say happy birthday, Amber. I love you and I miss you. As you can see, maybe, I don't know if you can see, but my wife is losing her darn mind. Okay, they have a theater over here. Okay, we're gonna go do a shadow puppet show. You're gonna damn me. You're gonna damn me like you do. Slowly approaching the river. We can hear it flowing. We are gonna have to cross this. There's a chance we might have to change into our water shoes. But if that's the case, we are hikers. We are the state parkers. We can pull that off, right? That's right. No problem. We're dealing with this kind of terrain here. There's some blotchy water, blotchy rocks, but a flowing river right in front of us. I don't have my water case, so I'm not going in that murky, nasty stuff. But... Yeah. Oh, hello, spider. I always find spider. Okay. So here we go. I'm gonna change into my water shoes and I'm gonna cross this sucker. I guess I'll meet you on the other side. Okay. Okay, so we've decided that uh, it's a little bit deep for Melody's low top shoes to go through without soaking over the ankles and getting inside. So she's gonna go water shoe power uh, like I am. And we're gonna cross it with our water shoes on. All right, we're crossing. Got our shoes and socks in hand. The rock's over here. The river's flowing really nicely. All right, it's shallow, but it's a little low water crossing. This is awesome. Yeah. We're back in our shoes. Let's hope she stays with us, because she can really save our batteries. Amen to that. <laughs> Mad hacking is really fun. It's a little risky and that's what makes it so fun. Just don't be stupid. You'll make it out alive. It just rained out here today. And uh, oh, you know something? It just rained out here today, so the trail's really packed down really hard. There's no dust, and even the sandy spots are just kind of thick. So it's it's a really nice comfy walk. We started here, uh, sorry, this is wet. It is extremely humid, it's, it's, sorry. It's very, very humid tonight. So we're gonna go, we've come here. We came in, we stayed to the right. We're down at the star. We're gonna work our way on our way around and do that four mile loop and back. It's supposedly five and 5.5 miles total from. And here we go. The, uh, thin layer of clouds just over the, uh, uh, in front of the moon. It's pretty bright. It was brighter last night. American Werewolf in London style. The one from the 80s. We got something growling at us. On the other side of that fence. Okay, well that was scary. We're walking along the trail. There's a barbed wire fence here. Right? Cactus everywhere, of course. And uh, we're walking along the trail, and we hear this <laughs> something growled at us. So we stopped. Pulled up, I pulled my knife out, she pulled out her pepper spray, and it kind of sounded to me like there was more than one of them that they might be communicating. So if they're coyotes, we'll be lucky to see one. But I hope it's not mad. It's not too bad. It's really dark. It's really quiet. The moon is extremely bright and beautiful. I'm just take my word for it. I'd say we are about halfway through, a little more than halfway through, perhaps. Just got done taking a little break. is upon us. We are descending downward below under beneath. beneath. We've 
come across an alien species is from Ribiton. All right, we're barefooted this time. We had our water shoes on last time, but all that did was slow us down. We just, oh, ouch. These are slippier, most slippery rocks I've ever walked on. Barefooted ever in my life, holy crap. All right, I'm on. I'm really just kind of sliding along. Oh my gosh, this is painful. Okay. Cool. That's weird, he won't let go. As soon as we get across, he's gonna mutate into a giant rat, rat fly that's got a fangs, a rat tail, uh, breeding glasses, and a really bad, bad breath. Time for him to depart? Yeah. Fly away. <laughs> I don't know what to do for a dragonfly. Mm -hmm. He'll have to recover. Best wishes to you, man. Glad we could give you a ride across the water. We take him to the vet? What, I mean, where do you take a, where do you take a wounded insect? <laughs> I don't know. I guess you just hope for the best. Yeah. Hope he doesn't bite you. I just figured we could take him with us and... This has been a good hike. Yeah. It really has. Heard some interesting sounds. We got growled at by a seemingly large animal. Yeah. Dragonfly is still on her finger. We've been walking for about 10 minutes since it landed there, since it crawled on there. Well, we're done with our hike and we had an excellent, excellent time this time. We went 5.5 miles and in the dark. The moon was really bright when it was out, but when the clouds covered it, it got really dark on us. It was awesome. Uh, it's been great. We'll see you in the morning. This here's our morning fire. We're gonna brew us up some uh, some noodle juice, and then we're gonna make some coffee out of it, the rest of it. <laughs> That's the plan. We're awake. We're up. We've eaten. Had some coffee. Currently in the process of having that coffee, actually, right here. And uh, you know, we we'll have another good one today. Uh, Melody's getting changed and ready to go on a short hike. She does have to work today, so we're gonna make it short. We woke up this morning and found bite marks in this here tree. They weren't here last night. All right, already it's getting really cool because this is another side of the of the Pertinalis Falls that we have not ever ventured out to, so I didn't really quite know it was going to look like this. I'm going to give a uh, shout out to Kenneth Cram. You can find him on YouTube. Uh, that's Kenneth, K-R-A-M-M, -M. there's two M's. Check his page out, he's pretty informative. He's got a really good hiking thing, good... Uh, survival skills. He's a uh, seems to be a, an expert in bushcraft. So we'll see. You know, maybe me and him will hike together one day. All right. Melody's strap broke, so she had to use carabiners to pull it together. Way to go! Yeah. <coughs> I see the trammel crossing over there. Yeah. Yeah. Or at least the, the paved, crumpled up pavement part of it on the other side of the river. Mm. Woo! We're good. <laughs> my wife saved my life. <laughs> Almost went down here. Whee! Because of the shoes I'm in. Need new shoes. All right. We're going down there. I can't help but smile because this is awesome. 
pretty though. Dead leaves, it just looks orange. We can go that way, that way, or that way. Yes. Whoa! Remember what your grandmaster taught you. Don't screw up. This is a very hard way down. Aren't you glad? Okay guys, snake. we got him. <laughs> he's only about two and a half feet long, but he's thick. That was just dirt falling and it freaked me out. Okay, I got my snake, finally, okay. yeah. All right. Oh, I'm okay. Yeah, How do you feel? I finally took my first actual real fall. That's right here. It says, Woo! Uh, you went down with me, so <laughs> you might have felt a little bit of it. Camera's okay. Don't worry. My wife's okay. The snake over there. He's he's still okay. <laughs> Look at this water, though. It's beautiful. We're just exploring today, folks. We have no idea what's up ahead of us. Well, we rarely ever do, but this time we really don't. And we've seen pure evil in our path. We saw the, uh, the great water moccasin. Ugh. A little bushwhacking today. Just a little bit. Trying to find our way from trail across to trail to trail. It may or may not be there. Monitoring my steps carefully. There was a sign up here that said something. Okay. This is a real hike. Short distance, complicated path. Just keep going that way towards the water.
we're out of that swampy area. Now we're back in the big old tree roots. Melody just ran into one, carefully watching our step. As we have seen, there is some fierce wildlife out here today, AKA poison snakes. Head on back to camp, break it down, pack it up, and get Melody home to get ready for work so that uh, she can go make some money and get ready for the next trip. We have braved some gnarly stuff today. Oh, yeah. We both fell down at least once. Go up that way or? Oh no, that's the way we went earlier. It's like a brother and sister out there playing in the water. I said we were gonna do that. And we did. And look what happened to us. We got dirty. Oh, yeah. 